騙されないように注意しろ騙されないでくださいね騙されちゃいけませんよ騙されないでくださいね騙されませぬようにみんな心配性だな私は賢いから騙されたりしないのだうわ<笑> Hey Welcome back to the channel guys Today we are going to take a closer look at Miram Nava or Milam、uh, from the anime That time I got reincarnated as a slime. If you guys haven't watched the anime, she is actually a demon lord who is multiple hundreds of years old、uh, and is extremely powerful. You know, the usual anime trope.、Uh, she looks super young, but she actually isn't.、Um, in the anime series, she actually overpowers the main character,、uh, Rimuru Tempest, which is extremely impressive. Anyways, this figure is manufactured by a, a new company I haven't heard of. It's called With Fans.、Uh, I don't know much about them, and I haven't seen like, really any of their work. This is the first one I have, so hopefully it is good. Anyways, without further ado, let's go unbox Miram. Alright, here she is in her box. Here is her base. It's pretty bland, honeycomb design. Here's Miram. Just covered in a bunch of protective plastic to make sure all the、uh, paint isn't scratched. And here is Rimuru. Oh. In his slime form. Wow. She is out of her packaging, all the plastic is off, and assembly isn't too complicated. She has two holes on her right foot and one on her left that go onto the metal pegs on the base. Just gotta place it correctly and press down. Make sure that she's secured. Right. And then Rimuru has divots. Uh, under his slime body that fit perfectly on、um, Mirim's like, upper butt area. And for the close ups, wow, she is adorable.、Uh, one thing I didn't like、uh, was when I took off the head to take off the plastic, I knocked off the honey right there, that honey.、Uh, and yeah. I needed to like glue it back on, which sucked. But detail wise, this is probably the best m i l l i m figure that I have seen. Love the hair sculpt.、Um, I love the coloring. I like the metallic paint that they use, the metallic gold paint that they used against the black、uh, paint、uh, really does show, which is really nice. I liked how they used、uh, the green clear plastic on her right shoulder to give like the、uh, a gem appearance. And they used glossy paint for the boots, which is really cool. The hair is really nice. I like, I like the, the hair sculpt a lot. Whoa, what the heck? What was that? It's、uh, a paint blotch. It's not really too big a deal. If you guys are good at like, painting, you can sand it down, color match, and it will be gone. And here's the back view. Wow. Again, the base is kind of boring. It's a honeycomb design printed on a glossy white、um, like、base. Whoa, what, what's that? Uh, yep, so it looks like there is dried up adhesives on the foot right here. It's like dried up super glue. Oh man, that kind of sucks. So, yeah, quality control. There are a few hits, but overall,、uh, this Mirim and r i m i k d r u figure is amazing. There you go. Alright, 
as per usual, I'll give the positives and the negatives on my take off this figure. I believe that with fans has made an amazing rendition of Mythem. Uh, they're probably, or this specific one is probably going to be the best Mythem figure uh, based on the prototypes of the other manufacturers that I have seen, both online and in real life. I'll go ahead and post a link in the description of her My Figure Collection page, which will have links to certain online stores where you can currently get this figure. Uh, if you guys want, you know. Also, if you guys want to help this community grow, I'd appreciate if you guys share this on like social networking platforms. That'd be really awesome. And leave a comment down below. I do love reading your guys' inputs. Uh, if you like this video, appreciate a like, a subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks.